Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I've gone out for another little walk in the woods today. I really enjoyed that little cook up that I did last week on the firebox stove. So I thought what I'd do is I'd come back out and bring the Kelly Kettle Base Camp and make some uh, Cajun chicken. I've got some Cajun chicken in my bag. I've got a pepper and some Cajun chicken. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea, Cajun chicken and some peppers on the Kelly Kettle. So I'm hoping I can find that little spot I was in last time because that was like a nice little place that was. I really enjoyed that. It's pretty cold today. You can see how icy everything is. We are in the middle of winter. I woke up this morning and it was minus three degrees C. So yeah, pretty cold. That's why I got the trapper hat on today. Try to keep me warm. I thought it was a path. Clearly isn't. Brambles. Ow. <laughs> well, after a bit of bushwhacking. I think I may have found the spot where I was the other day. Well, it looks similar anyway. Check it out. Lots of trees that have been felled. Pretty sure it was around here. Because I remember thinking, how did people actually find me to get to me among all this? Well, let's go and have a little look. I think this is it. Yeah, there's my seat there. Okay, let's get set up. That's cold, very cold. It's freezing, it's all icy. I had to bought that. Got the Kelly kettle. I've got this thing preloaded with wood. Base, two plates. My cups. My saucepan and my frying pan. And the hobo stove. I'm thinking we get the tea on first. Just get some water in there. Should do the trick. we do is we'll, <coughs> we'll light the wood wall and then we'll put the sticks in.
should get going nicely. What we'll do is we'll prep the pepper. Really do with a little table, couldn't I? And they're ready. That's smoking a bit, isn't it? Wow. It's really dry wood as well. You can hear the water boiling. There we are. I can go ahead and put the hobo stove on now. See how the chicken cooks on this. Never used this. To cook anything on before. I've used the hobo stove in my uh, cast iron pan. But I thought I'd try and do it with all the kit today. Everything that comes in the Kelly Kettle base camp. Is it supposed to be a self-contained cook kit? I thought I'd give it a go. Getting a bit smoky. Yeah, that wood's not very nice to use. Really smoky. Too smoky. You can always put the lid on, I suppose, to speed the cooking process of the chicken up. Put the uh, saucepan on upside down. That should get it really hot. Get that chicken, chicken properly cooked. Bit of raw pepper. Hmm. Some more wood in.
Hmm, yeah, that's looking better. I think we'll put the lid back on for a bit, just to be sure. Well, I think it's time to uh, plate this up. Get that chicken off, and it's a bit slippy. Get these peppers off. Charred. I do like them charred though. Maybe not that charred. Mm. Let's cut this chicken open and have a look. And that's, that's well and truly cooked in there. Mmm, that chicken looks lovely and tender. Let's try this chicken. Mmm. Oh, that's absolutely delicious. Try it with a bit of pepper. Mmm. Mm. Even though those peppers are a little bit charred, well, one or two of them, that one's alright, look. I mean, that one might be a little bit overdone. <laughs> alright. That still tastes lovely. Mmm. Well, that was a success. It's the first time I've actually used the whole base camp kit, the Kelly Gettle base camp kit, to actually cook, cook a meal on. I've only used the hobo stove, like I said before, with my cast iron pan, and I've only used the Kelly Kettle to boil water. So I thought what I'll do today is like, you know, just bring the whole thing out, bring no pans, no extra cups, no nothing, just that one whole base camp kit and see if I could use the whole kit, which yeah, was a success. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. And I didn't even need any extra wood. That wood that I brought, I thought that would never be enough. I'm going to have to go and process some wood round here. I didn't even have to. Did it all. There's still some coals in the bottom. So yeah, success. So if you're watching this and you wonder if you can cook and have a cup of tea with your Kelly Camp, Kelly Camp, <laughs> Kelly Kettle Base Camp kit, you can. It's going cold quick though, so I'm going to hurry up and eat it up. Thought I'd enjoy a little bit of a fire when my food goes down. Warm me up a little bit. The only thing I find about the Kelly Kettle is it's hard to keep it lit sometimes because there's not enough air can get round the bottom because it's only got one air hole there look. See where I'm pointing with my little pocket bellows? So you have to kind of keep 
giving it some some oxygen. It needs a lot of attention. And I just want to burn up what's in there. Because I'm ready to go home soon. Right, I've sat here and nurtured this fire long enough now. We're starting to lose the light. It's uh, now, what time is it? Five to four. So within the next 30 minutes, it's probably going to be dark. So... I'm going to head off and go home, get packed up and go home and warm up a little bit more because my feet are cold. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed my little cooking on the Kelly Kettle. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.